Hi, I'm just back from the Alzheimer's Society memory walk. Please give generously to the link I've tweeted. But last night I watched the film Jolt, uh, an action film released exclusively to Amazon Prime and starring Kate Beckinsale, Jai Courtney and David Bradley and directed by Tanya Wexler. It's a very stylized, fairly over the top action movie about a woman who has gone through her entire life with a terribly debilitating condition. It is that when she becomes annoyed or angry, she suffers uncontrollable outbursts of violence. Uh, they've tried many kinds of therapies on her, um, tried enlisting her own military, which inevitably meant with, <laughs> ended up with her assaulting her superior officer. And now she's finally able to live in Civvy Street with a new treatment, which is a special vest that she can control that administers electric shocks when she's about to uh, lose control of herself. Um, part of her therapy is that she should try establishing a, a normal relationship with someone. So she goes on a date with a very normal, ordinary accountant, but against expectations, they actually hit it off. And she starts to think that she might be falling in love with him. So when he's horribly murdered, she has to track down and find out who was responsible and who took away the possibility of normal, healthy life and someone who she could, against all the odds, have a personal connection with. Um, it's very it's very much in the vein of Crank, uh, the Jason Statham film about a man who has to keep his adrenaline up or he'll die. Uh, it has that over-the-top jokey tone down very well, and Kate Beckinsale is very canny casting because she has uh, a good um, backlog of action credits, but also has a knack with the uh, offbeat humour and the sardonic attitude a lot of the script has. Um, it has some somewhat unlikely twists and turns in the story, uh, but overall I actually found it to be very enjoyable, uh, very funny. Uh, it had some emotional moments that didn't uh, counterbalance the, the, the action or the humour too much. Um, and there are some good supporting performances. Jai Courtney as the severe accountant who comes back as a flashback character I thought was a nice cast against type. Um, Stanley Tucci is the somewhat amoral doctor who's helping the main character with her therapy. And there's a cameo right at the end by Susan Sarandon in a scene which looks like it's looking for a sequel. Um, it's quite disposable. It's only 90 minutes long. It's nothing that's going to trouble the Academy or probably not even many guild awards unless they're of stunts or anything like that but i found it to be a very enjoyable slice of post pub style entertainment and having watched the green knight immediately before it it was extremely refreshing